Hello, welcome to my messy basement room. After many home automation projects I uh, did for other people, I finally decided to make something my own. And my first step is this smart light switch. The old switch worked perfectly fine, but my version looks much better and it also has a built-in clock. Mm -hmm. I know there is a million similar products online, but most of them uh, rely on cloud services or something similar. As a, a maker, I wanted something I could have full control over, something I can program from scratch. That's why I choose uh, the ESP32C6 board. Later, I will be able to add features that will let me control the lights remotely. The ESP32C6 has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and Zigbee, so there are plenty of possibilities. Besides the microcontroller, this board has everything I need. A beautiful AMOLED touchscreen, a built-in real-time clock chip and even a speaker included in a package. I am planning to add timer and alarm functions or maybe even MP3 playback. I'm not sure yet. Like I said, the WaveShare board was perfect choice. However, the mounting board is always a challenge. And then I had an idea. Why not to use a PCB? PCBs are precisely manufactured and with a bit of creativity they can be used for cases, mounting plates, boxes and all kinds of things. My PCBs are made by PCBWay. PCBWay sponsored this video and I am very grateful to them. They can produce high quality PCBs very quickly. And besides that, they offer many other services such as laser engraving, 3D printing and more. I'll share the files for both of my PCBs on PCBWay website, so you can easily order them if you want to build this project yourself. And if you are still here, please consider subscribing to my channel. On my channel, I'm basically programming these cool devices. Feel free to take a look. Thank you. Let's break apart this project and let's see what we will need to make this. First of all, I want to say that um, for this, you will need to, you need to understand AC, electricity, and please don't try to do this if you aren't experienced with AC because it can be dangerous. Be, because we still need to connect relay and this module that converts 220 uh, volts AC to 5 volts DC. So for that part you can ask electrician for help. So basically what we need is brain of project is this wave share board which have uh, these GPIO pins. We will use 5 volt and ground rail for powering board and we will use pin 2 for relay signal. And I will also use this battery which I will connect here. This is connector for battery. This is a, this is a connector for speaker. Why battery? Because it will it will uh, keep our real-time clock running. It will keep our time if board is, if electricity is turned off in the whole house. And for mounting part, I designed these two PCBs. And it was very easy because WaveShare provided very good details about size and position of these screws. So. This uh, PCB is mounted on a board using those screws, but uh, this will be too short. You will need new screws. I think they are one. I'm not sure what is size. I have box of screws, and I I was able to find the screws which will fit. But you can probably find them in many places says so I will leave that up to you uh, so uh, mounting this this part is very easy with screws 
and when you mount this like this we need to mount connect these two boards this one and this one and how i did that i just used those holes and and piece of paper clip and i soldered and i soldered this wire here and here on six spot here 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 don't don't solder so you will need to solder on only here here and here this is error you don't need to solder here because uh, in that if you solder here wires will block your usb port so you will be unable to reprogram it i know it is not the best solution but it's work and it is very sturdy and it is working very well here is fully assembled board or product and to mount uh, it in a wall on place where this fellow was i'm not sure will this work in your country or region uh, in our walls in croatia we have those 60 millimeters i don't know enclosures boxes we call it i don't know how we call this so always there are always those holes and on my pcb i have i also included those holes so it is very easy to install this using regular screws here when you have your board you will need to power it i'm using this module like i said it turns 220 volts to 5 volts you can find uh, these modules on aliexpress you will probably need a different module if you are in the usa or some country that are not using 220 uh, volts ac network but if you don't have this you don't need to spend money you can also use your own old phone charger because it will turn 220 on 5 volts why not module that works on 3.3 because we still want to charge this battery and it will be charged only if it is connected to 5 volt rail so on this side are all pins we need plus 5 volt ground and pin 2 and you will need relay relay which will act as switch for your ac light i'm using this m5 stack relay it is only three amps but it is working great uh, for lights three amps is enough but don't use this for turning something else for a heater boiler or something this is only for lighting because in my room i have eight watts light bulbs and three amps is enough it is also very small and it is also protected i decided to use it because it is protected normal um, relay modules like this one for example this is larger 10 amps but there are wires and these connections that are not protected then and i don't want to risk touching wires in my in my box where this system is and you will need this cable which comes with this module this is also easy 
first you connect wires here and then here. Uh, black is ground, so I connected directly black wire with this black wire of that module. Uh, red is plus 5 VCC, so red and red. White, white wire is not even used and yellow wire is used for for uh, for turning on and off. It is connected to GPIO when in our case to GPIO 2 which is here. My <laughs> way of... Uh, I use the wires that already that are already in wall just I con disconnected everything and now wires in wall are are um, used for black, red and yellow and wiring in my uh, I don't know how to say we in my wire box in my room I don't know English word for that is right now in mess this is still prototype. I will probably put some bigger box there and make something different. That is another project. But I will put there some something different to make to make it more secure and nicely and to make it better. Uh, software. I will share this code and um, firmware in uh, in description but keep in mind that this is still in uh, development so right now this is a really simple project that only turns off and on a uh, light and you can set clock and change brightness I'm planning to add lots of things on it so keep in mind that I'm still working on it and it will be much better. I will place links of all these. Just as I said, you can use all your old um, relay module if you have one that is protected and a nice you can use instead of this. You can I buy both this on AliExpress. You can use phone charger board you can order from my affiliate link from description or you can try to uh, try to find it on Amazon I will not be mad and PCBs you can you don't need to design redesign them uh, if you want to redesign them it will be easy task but if you want you can order them straightly from PCB way site and also code is in description. Thank you, have a nice day. If you want, you can feel free to uh, support my work, to buy me coffee, to become patron, uh, YouTube, thanks, and uh, send me a letter with uh, $3,000 in it. Thank you, goodbye.